think that Chloe is a compelling character because she's pretty wounded in, in you know, lots of ways. She's gone through a lot of things. Working with Ashley's been awesome. She has a very personal viewpoint on who Chloe is, what her voice is like, how she relates to all the other characters of Arcadia Bay. Hi, my name is Rihanna DeVries. I play Chloe Price in Life is Strange Before the Storm. There's something so relatable about Chloe, and I think that's why so many people love her. It's because we all have something in us or something about her that we either want to be or already have. I took Chloe very personally. I tried to play her as raw and as uh, close to heart as possible. I think just the rawness of her hurt and her pain is the thing that makes her such a dynamic and lovable character. She has this, this kind of wicked wit that she uses to alienate others, keep people at bay. You could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. I think she's someone that doesn't want to let on that she's affected by others, but absolutely is. Finding Rachel at this point in her life was a really big deal for her. We've embraced this idea that each girl kind of desperately needs something that only the other person can provide at this specific point in time in their lives. So getting to see that, that need, that vulnerability, and the, the strength and the kind of power that the characters pull from each other, it's incredible. We heard about it in the first game, obviously a lot, that's a lot of what motivates Chloe. And being able to actually see it and have the players experience it, I think will be really special and really fun. A lot of fans I know are really concerned about what happened between Rachel and Chloe and exactly how it broke down and how many layers their relationship has. Just having a hand in bringing that to life has been an honor. I've had my own mental perspective of who Rachel must have been and, and that kind of thing. So getting to actually see her fleshed out and to be able to read the interactions that she and Chloe have has been really awesome. And the team has done a really great job of crafting those scenes. I got to work with Phil, who was the voiceover director for Liz One. He asked me questions that would prompt certain emotions from me so that I would read the lines a certain way. It becomes a, a very personal matter. It's not just playing around anymore. I'm feeling everything that I'm feeling. It was the, the junkyard scene in episode one where Chloe is just like crying and beating on cars and things. And Phil had told me um, as a motivation, he just said, you can't be with someone you love anymore. And immediately that person popped into my head. And since then, it's just been holding on to the memory of how of who, of who they are to me and how they feel in relation to me that's been driving how I play Chloe for a lot of this. I'm sorry for whatever I did or didn't do. Today was the best day I've had since, since my dad died. And I screwed it up somehow. Like I screw everything up because I'm a fucking screw up. Chloe, please. I don't want to be alone anymore. Imperfection is something that we embrace with this story, for sure. Rachel Amber has a power and a charisma and a, and a meaning to Chloe that is, you know from the first game if you played it, uh, in incredible. We don't know for sure that it's purely good. We hope with the story in Before the Storm to raise this question of, it can be amazing to meet a person who has that power it's not necessarily a, a good thing all the time either, because people are inherently complex. Rachel Amber is not just a hero to Chloe. She might not be a hero at all to Chloe. The player's decisions will play a, a big role in determining exactly what their relationship is like and what kind of an impact Rachel's gonna have on her.